There's so much Trump news. We're rolling. Fox News is putting on a masterclass in spinning Trump scandals, and it should worry anyone who cares about trying to hold the president accountable. It's been a hell of a week. First, there was the Russia leak. The Washington Post reports that Trump reveals highly classified information during a White House meeting with the Russian ambassador. Not good. The next day, the Comey memo. The New York Times reports that a memo by former FBI director James Comey describes Trump asking him to drop the investigation into Michael Flynn, which sounds a lot like obstruction of justice. Both stories are damning. They're confirmed by multiple news organizations, and they come amid growing concerns about Trump's ties to Russia and his abrupt firing of Comey. By any reasonable measure, this all looks very, very bad for the White House. But that's not what you see on Fox News. Fox spent the week masterfully deflecting focus away from Trump. And though the Russia leak and Comey memo scandals are very different, Fox handled both stories basically the same way. Step one, attack the story. Raise doubts in the viewer's mind about the credibility of the reporting. For the Russia leak, this meant calling the story a conspiracy theory. The mainstream media starts launching many conspiracy theories. Criticizing the story's anonymous sources. All the Washington Post sources are anonymous. I don't know how credible those sources are. So many anonymous sources with literally no accountability. Outside sources and sources from Mars, apparently. Calling it fake news. Bogus fake news story. It's fake news. And parroting the White House's talking points. Okay. It was denied by the Trump administration officials. And McMaster has said absolutely that did not happen. Do you think that the Washington Post moved too fast? For the Comey memo, it meant suggesting the story was made up. A so-called memo magically surfacing in the New York Times. Criticizing anonymous sources. These unnamed sources. Is this a way to be reporting the news? And just saying, I don't believe it. Risking that much politically or otherwise around General Flynn, I just can't see it. You can write anything in a memo. It doesn't mean it was right. That seems highly unlikely. Step two attack the messenger. For the Russia leak, that meant going after the Washington Post. The Washington Post, just like the rest of the destroyed Trump media, has no credibility. It's just an extension of the DNC. Completely unreliable. For the Comey memo, that meant going after Comey. Jim Comey has major credibility problems. It had nothing to do with the good of the country. It only had to do with his own ass being fired. Is that what James Comey was doing tonight, seeking revenge? Comey is a little bit of a drama queen. This is very mean girls, by the way. And in both cases, it meant obsessing about the legal who are talking to reporters in the first place. The real story here is who's leaking to the press. Who is leaking? Leaks. Constant leaks. What do we do about the leaks? The leaks are a bigger story than the substance of what is leaked. Also, the deep state. You're saying President Trump is under attack by the deep state intelligence community. The deep state. Deep state. You're worried about the deep state and the leaking. Step three. Blame the media for covering the story. Would any other administration get this kind of scrutiny? This is something that every Republican president has to deal with. The press is against them. Does their hate for President Trump cloud their ability to bring you the facts? Step four, attack Hillary Clinton. It was their own presidential candidate, Hillary Clinton, who severely mishandled classified information. What was the fake news media back then? And Barack Obama. Why the hell not? And if we want to talk about obstruction, what about President Obama? Let's see the what documents do about President Obama. I want to see the Obama memos. Call me memos. And when all else fails, so what? Just dismiss the story entirely. The way people are reacting is if the world is coming to a close because of what may or may not have been reported. It's like a three-day story if it's true. I don't think there's a lot in here. It's a boring scandal. What's wrong with revealing some highly classified information to the Russians? Why wouldn't the president of the United States share that with Russia? Right, it makes it easier for Russia to figure out who our ally is, although you got to figure Russia knows who all, all our allies are anyway. And what even is obstruction of justice anyway? I hope you can let it go. He's not directing him to let it go. You know, he just said, I hope. He didn't say, I command you or I order you to do that. I would hope. That's not the same. It's just not. It if you understand language, it's not. Fox's entire strategy for dealing with Trump scandals is to downplay their significance. But if every story is Watergate, is any story Watergate? Make the audience suspicious of the media. They've succumbed to Trump hatred that is so intense it has destroyed their judgment and in some cases affected their character. And then deflect their attention to literally anything else. The world is a very complicated place. What you think is happening often really isn't happening. If you're not a regular Fox viewer, it's easy to roll your eyes and laugh at this stuff. But imagine if you were. Imagine if Fox News were your main source of information and news every day. For a huge portion of Trump supporters, that's the reality. 
They get their news primarily from Fox, which means that even powerful, well-sourced, and incredibly damning reporting about Trump's behavior might not be enough to change his supporters' minds about him. There are obviously a lot of people in high places in Washington who will do anything they can to undermine his position. It just doesn't penetrate the Fox News echo chamber. The destroy Trump propaganda media, they have been working around the clock to smear, slander, besmirch, character assassination. And if you're hoping that Congress will pose some check on Trump's behavior, this should worry you. Before anybody rushes to judgment, we're not going to base our opinion solely on a news article. I'm Republicans in Congress are unlikely to break rank with Trump unless their constituents pressure them to, unless Republican voters think these scandals are big enough to take seriously. But if those voters are watching Fox, that might never happen. This didn't really fit in the video, but Tucker Carlson did a totally banana segment where he yelled about the bathrooms in Penn Station. So here you go. Tax Normal returns. People use the men's in the train station, and yours are disgusting. And now you're returns. complaining about his tax returns? 